Hello. Here at eMate, we are proud to introduce the brand new eMate work request module that is available in the X4 interface. What I'm going to go over in this video is some of the new enhancements and features that exist in this new request module. So right away when you go into here, you'll notice that this looks just like X4, very similar with some of the tabs up here being, a, being available for the request users. So one other thing you'll notice right away when you go into the work requester account is this brand new menu that you have, which is going to give the work requester information about how to use the request module and also understand how the request process works. And there's information in here, such as being able to add a request, information on how you can filter data and how to manage their columns, as well as being able to filter their data and clear filters as needed. Now what you'll also see in the work request module is if you actually go to my work order request or my open request, you'll see every open request that you have in the system. So it looks just like the X4 interface where they can see all the requests that they have and then they can go in and they can filter their fields, they can adjust columns as they specifically need to, so that way they can go through this data. Now, as well as that, they can go through rejected work order requests, work request history, as well as be able to see any reports that were specifically created for them. So these were all features that exist in the old version, but let me show you some of the neat things that you can do with this in the new version of our request module. So if we open up another account, so this would be the administrator account. What you'll notice here is that I am on the requester settings. So some of the different things in here would exist is you have the ability to say, do you want to use the X4 interface for requesters to log into, yes or no? You decide it right here in the administration options. Can the users access individual records? What this means is that when you're on that open request screen, can they actually access these requests that they created, yes or no? The next one, this is something that a lot of users have been asking for and we're proud to introduce this new feature, is being able to access requests from all users. So this doesn't let you see specifically just your request, but all requests other users have made. So you might have a scenario where something goes down in your system and you had three different people all send requests because they had no idea the other people made requests. So this feature, if you turn it on, is going to allow you specifically to see requests from all users in the account. So that's a pretty neat new feature right there. What you're going to notice is right below is you're going to have the message to display as well as HTML help. Well, what you might have noticed is that when a request user logs into the system, this is exactly what they're going to see in their system. So you have the ability to actually edit this screen. So we added this in there by default for you, but if there's any additional information that you need to add for the message to be displayed or the HTML help, you can go ahead and you can edit this information as you need. Um, the last thing you'll notice if you scroll all the way down is you actually now have control of exactly what your requesters can and can't do. So this is a global setting for all requesters in your system. So you can say, do you want them to be able to see all their open requests, yes or no? Do you want them to even be able to see rejected requests? Um, do you want them to be able to see work order history and track it? Maybe they're only supposed to use it to make requests and see requests, but not the actual work information as well as you can control if you can actually give them access to reports or not. And all these settings are specifically in the administrator settings and account settings right here on the bottom for requester settings. So one additional thing I want to show off real quick with the new user interface is that when you are on the main screen and you go to the main menu, under the request center, you're going to have all those different options that you saw in the requester. So for example, my open requests. So let's say, for example, you do not want the users in the request account to see scheduled date or specifically who it's requested by. So you might have this scenario where we are going over that will have access for everyone to see requests, but maybe you don't want the people to see who it was requested by. So as the administrator, you have the option to manage the columns. So if we go in here and we manage our columns and we go through and remove requested by and apply that change, this change doesn't just happen on your account, this happens for every request user that you have as well. So if I refresh the screen that I'm on now and let the request module reload, if I head back over to my open requests, you'll notice that requested by is no longer on here. So you don't just have to do this on my open requests, you have the ability to do this on every one of these screens to manage exactly what you want your users to see when they're on this menu. And then the one other additional neat thing is requester reports. So if you actually have reports in your system that you want requesters to have access to, this section is where you can go and you can create all these different reports. 
Now you'll probably want to make these public as well as read only as you will not want your request users to go through and manipulate these reports, but you have the ability to create as many reports as you need to that you can give requesters access to. That's it for the new request module. I hope everyone learned a lot. Have a great day.